Hey guys, it's we're on the bridge, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna go figure out this other murder. And then I saw this, didn't notice this before. Crankshaft. Fresh track is recently used. Looks like I'm missing a crank. What makes this thing work? And I believe we saw this earlier in the episode where we found this rope. So we have to re-inspect it because of auto saves. And there was this. Someone lost their legs. So we find more clues. And gasoline can. Well, this grass is dried. Aha! I think I know where this is going. Yeah, I'll rail front of the bridge. Let's go down here. I find that crankshaft for you move the uh the vehicle. Ah, can't move. Past this like this. This just takes me back the way I came. So I guess I'm going around. Anything here? the body was. Oh, 
Oh. Rock. So we have a rock missing. Hmm. I saw the guy's head was damaged, so... Is he get his head bashed in a little bit? With a rock? Oh, hey! I think I found it. It's not that big of a rock. I can put it back now. That's where the rock was. this? Oh, hey! Bloody crankshaft. I'm gonna take this. Yeah, let's go back to the train. That's a lot of blood. Now I can do this. Got it! Sweet! I'm gonna turn this off there now. If I need to turn it on, then I guess I'll just turn it on again. Jeez, that noise. Get it correct, it's like... Oh! Oh! Aha! We have done it! Everything's in place. Now we need to find these moments. Put them in order. Like the last one. Hey, it's that grandfather we saw last time. Grandpa Ed. There's Ethan and this dude. Oh, Ethan's tied up. That's not cool. As as one Ethan to another Ethan. That's not cool. Ethans don't like to be tied up on tracks. So that's four. No, one, two, three, four. That's five, isn't it? Oh, okay, there's another one. That's not number one. I got a feeling you know what number one is. One. Two. 
fine. I have a feeling, I have a pretty good idea what happened. Two. Alright, he's hiding in the tracks. The grandfather confronted him. Grandfather got a rock. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Jeez. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now. Okay, so I'm guessing I got it wrong simply because this is three, that's two. Listen to me. Alright, not bad. Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. Gail's the one that died in the fire. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> Jeez. Ow. God damn it. Go! Get out of here! Ed. Travis, close your eyes. Well. So from what it seems, it looks like the family's pretty split. Like, how am I going to murder the kid for some reason? The other half don't? The grandfather saved him, then it was the father and sort of the mother. Well, the mother stabbed the guy because he was killing, I guess, her husband? I think. Oh, look, something else on here. Grandpa? Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. Jeez. Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. We're in some pretty profound stuff. Alright, so I guess I'm going to be heading back to the graveyard. Even though we already did that part. But then... The kid mentioned something about a mine. I think. So, I guess that's where we're gonna go. And the father said he had the key, so I'm guessing it's in the house somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, well, that wraps it up for this section. Right now. So, yeah. That wraps up the... Train side robbery, I don't know. Train robbery, train murder thing. His legs cut off by a train. Jeez. And I have no idea what the sleeper is, but I'm a big fan of Lovecraftian horrors, so I can imagine. Getting interesting. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. <laughs>